<laughs> so Aztecs for bruh. <laughs> Against uh, Ethiopians for slam on a... Looks like an Arabia type map. Maybe this is just Arabia. Runestones, very similar though. Quite open. And uh, it took some eagles here as well as archers from Bra, as well as uh, some archers from Slam. All right, Slam doing good here. Oh, those eagles are going to be t dicey to deal with. In all honesty, when you when you deal with eagles like this, like yeah, I think you need a few scouts or you need a second archer range and you need the armor upgrades on these archers. If it was behind walls, it wouldn't have mattered. Like, if, if Slam had done this at the start, like his usual box wall or whatever you want to call it, um, wouldn't have had to deal with uh, the Eagle shenanigans. And this surprised, this surprised a lot of players. Eagles are surprisingly good in, in Feudal Age, so... If, uh, especially if you're just doing, like, skirms and archers and you're, you're, you're just doing one range, so... And it looks like Burra is going to choose to go Eagles and Castle Age, too. Yeah, three barracks, okay. And uh, maybe a retreat here, don't want to lose this army, which makes sense. I mean, it's, it's going to be a close fight, but he just lets it go, okay. <laughs> Maybe he is going to fight, okay. I don't recommend fighting here, but I guess if you are, you're trying to take out the archers. So he's going to run away here. Take a little bit of damage on the way. Oh, these are pretty bulky, they're pretty beefy, I mean, that took a lot of damage. Okay. Fourth of barracks going up. Yeah, that's going to be pure eagles. Eagles are tough to deal with, you know. Sometimes I do wonder, and maybe it's just my own musing, but I do wonder if that Eagle Warrior upgrade, where they get, and with the plus two armor, if they kind of overbuff them slightly. Because um, they deal with archers, and they deal well with knights, and uh, it's hard to counter those those Eagles. And they're, they're great against monks, right? So kind of feels like most Castle Age units are not ideal against this type of army. Now, obviously, Ethiopians got stronger archers, so maybe, maybe it's not a big deal here, but... This is uh, interesting. This is a bait, definitely. You do not want to go in there as Slam. I, I don't think he's aware, but um, I think uh, with the number of eagles here, 13, and it looks like roughly the same number of archers, well, maybe it's a close fight. You know, I'm not sure. To me, it looked like you wouldn't want to go in there. It, I guess maybe his regular archers. Ethiopian ones are a little tougher, but yeah, and it looks like eh, closer than I thought, actually. Let's see who wins this fight. I think the Eagles are going to have it. 11 versus 7 left, yeah. Good micro by slam though, hit and run. That's what you want to do. But yeah, Eagles just clean that up, hey? And now, now the, the tough part for slam is what do you make? Do you make more knights? Do you make archers? You know, long term, what do you want to do here? And uh, you can see Brugge going forward, trying to do some raids on the side, some monks here. Those both make a lot of sense. Smart, he tried to bait Slam out, okay. Slam did a really good job there defending. Kind of baiting him back to the gate. All right, let's get some monks on the field. Monks and Sea Chop is good here. And <laughs> nice pick off. Now the one thing that uh, Ethiopians do have, they have Shotel Warriors, which are great against the Eagles, so. I'm a little surprised by this fight. That one looks a little more intimidating with that many knights on the field. It might be alright. Like I said, eagles are surprisingly tough with that eagle warrior upgrade. With that extra armor, they take a third less damage to archer arrows than they used to, so... But, uh, looks like Slam has won this fight, but not by much. It's close. Yeah, it's definitely a much closer fight than I would have thought. And looks like he's adding a Manganel and some Monks. Good addition. You're dealing with this type of army, converting Knights and Manganelling a couple Archers is a good idea. The other part that I will add that isn't as obvious is that uh, both players are booming behind this. They both have roughly the same villagers. So it means they're making a similar amount of army as well. And it looks like Slam took that fight pretty uh, convincingly. And uh, he is on stone, so if you can get a castle up, you can stop worrying about this push. And just focus on, on booming and getting to the next stage. And Yeah, so this is going to stop that push dead in its tracks. I like this play from Slam here. Good job picking up the Mangan. I'll maybe lose a knight there, but... but... With the castle, you can't do any more damage here. So I think uh, Bruin needs to recognize that and 
Yeah, looks like he stopped making siege and just going for army and grabbing some relics. Um, and Slam reinforcing his walls over here. Doesn't want to deal with the eagles. Kind of just wants to counterattack and go in. Easy to break in there. Okay, going for the relics. Oh, geez, this is this is about to be super dicey. He's got seven eagles. That's not enough to hold against this. I think you definitely have the villagers here. This is exactly what he's doing. Just okay. Now you gotta you gotta move, but a lot of dead villager bodies. I mean, the, the archers are definitely gonna die to these eagles. Um, but uh, you can see Slam has five more villagers now. It's not it's not enough to be a game changing amount. I don't think. Um, but uh, I think this is going to come down to an early imp war to see what they do. I'm actually really curious to see. Is, is Slam going to go Shotel Warriors? Is... He is. Okay, interesting. Two castles, too. And almost Imperial Age. Alright. So, Bruz, is he ready for this? Oh, he is not ready for this. He's just only got eagles. And uh, he's imping now, but I'm going to say this is going to be a massacre. The second you get the elite upgrade. Um, adding skirms. Oh, he's thinking he's going something else, I guess. Lots of archery ranges without making anything. Okay. Second he sees a show tile, I think this game... The score is so close, but... Uh, I think this game is going a lot different than you're about to expect. Let's see here. Okay. No elite upgrade, though. Okay, so maybe it won't be as crazy as I was expecting. If it was me and I see my opponent was Aztecs and not him. Go in with 20 Chotel Warriors with the armor upgrade, get Elite, and you know what? Find a spot to hit, and I think they're in trouble, so. But uh, I still think it's going to go well for Slam here. Just because I don't think there's really a counter for these guys. But it looks like uh, Slam's adding archers. Is he doing a mix? This is a weird mix. I, I would actually discourage the mix and, and choose one or the other, and I think in this case I choose Chotels because his opponent has Eagles. But it looks like he's mixing in a lot of skirms and archers, too, so... Know, maybe it is, um... Hmm. Might be a little surprising. If you fought before these got upgraded, before they had Bracer, and if you had, um... Instead of these, uh, 12 archers, <coughs> you had another 20 Chotels, I think you could just... Even before the upgrades, just start eating TCs, and... I don't know if there's much Brook could do about it. But now I think it's a completely... It's a, it's a game again. Um... Because they're just regular Chotels, and these are Arbalests, and got a couple castles and a nice spot here. But uh, I think his army can now kind of can deal with this, so let's see. Okay, he's going to raid on this side. Okay, that's going to be a fun surprise. Let's, let's see when they see each other. Okay, he spots it right away and retreats. Both of them do, okay. Now, Bruh has a castle right here, and <laughs> it's about to say, and uh, Slam doesn't know it, so it might... Uh, I think it would be better off if it was on the sale. I don't know if he can shoot from there, but... Third castle, oh my god. Okay, this is turning into a castle war over here, right? All right. Good, good. What paying attention from, from Slam here. If he went in a little too far, this could have been heavy losses from this type of army with that castle there. Smart. Or, well, well reacted, I guess. He's getting extra golds out here. Nice economy going now. No relics, but, but I think it's okay. If you win... You win the army fight here, I think that's game, so. And he has taken some space with, with the extra castle, and Bruh hasn't noticed, so a lot of villagers are dying there. Now it looks like Bruh is taking down this castle, and I think it will drop, but, but with the bombard cannons and his own traps, um, I think he's got the advantage for the next castle fight. That's a lot of ranged units, though. That can take out the bombard cannons quite easily. Let's see how it goes here. Eagle's coming in to stop the repairing. Okay. Now, the Shotels are still not elite, even though there's 30 of them. So, okay, they got elite just now, never mind. So, they get an extra pierce armor, a bit more hit points, and more attack. That's good. Now, this castle's going down. This is really good defense by Brew, I would say. Ooh, good shot, that Bombard Cannon. Oh, boy, okay. So, you'll see... Okay, I'm surprised he retreated, but if, he, if the Shotels start hitting things, the amount of damage they do is insane. 19 damage a hit, it's like 3 hits to kill anything, right? But he's seen the eagles coming, and that's why he's like, hey, I don't want to lose the trap, so I need some Chotels here. And uh, if we see them fight, you'll see it just, you know, yeah, we get eaten, pretty much, just just destroyed. Now, I'm a big fan of what Bruh did for Micro here. Distracting with the eagles, taking fire from ranged units, 
And the Shotels are taking ranged fire too, and they haven't been able to fight at all, so... They're essentially just kind of used as uh, cannon fodder. The Bomber Cannon is a nice addition here, it's doing some nice damage. Kind of knocking out a unit or two every shot. Three Trebs with repairing, this is good by both players here. Um, this is an excellent way to defend, I encourage everyone to repair on hills and use Trebs to kill Trebs. Or even to shoot the Bomber Cannons, which <laughs> Red just did. Nice, nice job there. And he did get uh, the Atlas, whatever the upgrade is, that gives him 8 attack, which makes Skirms actually pretty decent, I would say. Especially if you got Castle Fire to defend them from Shotels. Alright, some... Normally you do some raids on this side, but that castle's kind of stopping that, and, and Slam stopped the raids with the castle on his own walls, so... The action really is all in one spot in this game, I would say. A couple Eagles for raiding here and there. And uh, Brua holds here. There was three castles here before. He took out two of them. And uh, it's just... Look at that. He's pushing his opponent right back and saying, No, this is my area. I'm getting this gold. I'm getting this stone. And uh, Slam is not giving this area up. He's got a fourth castle now. Well, the fourth one. And, and he has decided to do some light raiding with one archery range. Which makes sense. I think Bro would want to get that stone too at some point. But uh, good play here. So yeah, looks like it's... Uh, now, with the Bombard Cannon here, I always use Staggered Formation. I feel like that's so much safer. Oh, Eagle's coming in hot. With uh, a very small number of archers here and a very small number of Shotels, those Eagles are amazing. They'll tank all the fire, and if any Shotels try and fight, you just shoot them with the ranged units. Now, the second you see the Shotels hitting the Eagles, you got to retreat the Eagles, though. Or well, maybe he's just going to... Oh, or go for the expensive units. That works, too. So that's another thing you should do, is, is try and take out Bombard Cannons first and Treb second um, if you have raiding units like, like Eagles here. Now, relics do make a difference at this point in the game, and it looks like, ooh, Brewer's got four, okay. Well, that's going to be dicey for Slam, I would say, because even if you do have gold piles, once they run out, and you want to grab that one, but once they run out, I think uh, you're in trouble here. Until then, until the market gets too cheap, I think you're kind of okay, too. So the market's still, no, it's, it's been traded down quite a bit, so. Hey, how do I get that back? There we go. Oh, he's got some light cab coming in, but uh, without the armor upgrade, light cab really just don't do a ton of damage. But the way they, there's enough of them that that really surprised bro. Out in the open like that, uh, you need more of a meat shield for sure. And I think you just run here. I mean, that that was a very good play by Slam, coming in in the open area with a bunch of units that uh, light cab and, and hotels, and uh, tanking with the light cab and then letting the hotels really do the damage was was smart for sure. And now he's using them to kill the eagles here. Good, good work. All right, the castle is definitely helping here. Anything that gets close to the castle is getting getting heavy shots, lots of damage. But now you see the thing is, Bro might be losing here, but uh, he's been raiding in all other spots, right? And and those eagles are they do a lot of damage. So you can see Slam doing a bit of his own raiding too, even in a few spots like this. Okay, the castle really this castle is really doing work here, killing a few raiding units too. Okay, and Brew doing another basically anti-raiding castle, but it's going to take some damage before it goes up, it looks like. I don't know if it's going to make it up. Might be a... Yeah. <laughs> That's going to hurt. But the Eagles can wipe this army. That's the other thing. So with no Shotel warriors here, this army, even if it dot, you know... I mean, he's obviously going for the villagers, but Brew can rebuild. And the Shotel's dying kind of in the skirms in the castle fire. He did kill all the villagers there, though. So I, I bet Bra is rebuilding villagers. Yes, he is. So it's not the end of the world if you lose a bunch of villagers now, as long as you can rebuild them safely and, and not have it snowball out of control, which it looks like he has done. Now, I do think at this point, with this many uh, units, you probably want to get the elite up, uh, the unique tech that uh, gives them more attack. Uh, looks like Slam's doing some nice raiding on the left there. A couple traps taking all the production buildings. Bra is grabbing that stone now. And here, I actually think uh, those Shotels are... You, you focus those down. If you're Bruh, um, use the Skirms. It looks like he's, he's, he's doing it. <laughs> he's like, you know what? Let's let's not lose all the Eagles here. Let's try and get the Eagles to fight the other side. And Okay, a very big fight here. The hill definitely helps. And without the armor upgrade on Light Cav, they, they do die in Skirms. Not, not uh, crazy amounts, but they do um, a lot more than if they had that last armor upgrade for sure. 
So it looks like that was a very good fight for Bra. Um, very cost effective, and I think Slam's gonna run out of gold here, just with no relics and then with um, with Bra having access to one more gold eventually. And he's got enough castles now that I think he's kind of stopped the raiding. And so with this focus, I think it kind of turns into who's gonna win the army fight. And uh, with the eagles mixed in here. I think uh, it's really tough for Slam to win this army fight at this point. And just the, the power of the skirmish from Aztecs, they get pretty tough. So, very messy fight here. But uh, again, it's, you know, he's going to try and raid, but even if you do, I honestly think you need to keep these home. Um, there's just too many castles. And uh, you can see even <laughs> Brad does some sneaky walls here to keep those from doing too much damage. And, and by covering all the production buildings, you're essentially killing all the units that come out of here, so... And it's easy to focus on this with pikes and, and that type of thing too, so... And he did get the upgrade just now. So I think this is a... It's kind of a do or die raid, but I, I, without the armor upgrade, because uh, Ethiopians I think don't get it, um, you're kind of just hooped. So the raid's not... It's doing a little bit, but uh, not nearly as much as you'd hope. And um, it looks like Bruh is pushing your castles and your production buildings here. And uh, I think it's kind of snowballing out of control. The raids here. Now the archers were taking some heavy fire there. Which is not ideal for Bruh, but... Lots of things happening, obviously. Yeah, and even the, he's using the hill, that's smart. Um, but he's kind of, you're kind of relying on light cap to kill the eagles and pikes and... You know, I don't know if it's going to be enough here. Let's see. With that hill, it looks like he's holding on. Uh, pretty good, actually. But, oh, okay, that was six eagles. I don't know. Like, it's like two hits, and they, you know, they basically drop skirms in a couple hits, so when you got 17 attack. Um, and Archer's in the back. I like how Brett did that. Uh, definitely a slow push. So I think I think that's what kind of ended the game, was the, the relics and the gold control, very, and uh, the way ca uh, Brett used the castles. And then also, the military was uh, very well well controlled by Burris. So, uh, good game from these two. Alright, let's go and watch uh, second game here. So it looks like not in order, so we'll go this one. By timestamp, this is second game. Alright, so we got Burris Khmer versus Slam as Magyars on Frigid Lake. And it looks like they're both adding a stable right at the start. And some people will add a, a dock here. Sometimes they don't. Um, Fridge Lake's a little annoying because you can't farm around the, the outside. Now it looks like Bra is going for the, kind of a, you know, a quick, like a wall strategy. And uh, Slam is not. He's basically done small walls. And I think he's going to rely on his scouts to defend. He already added a dock, which I think makes sense here. If you can keep your opponent on the defense, because you have Magyars and cheaper scouts and, and, and forging, right? Um, and then also, uh, get a dock up, I mean... Yeah, and, uh... So, th this is a double whammy, I'm gonna say, because Slam kept Bruh on the back foot at the start, because of Magyars, probably, mostly, and then also a little bit just because Spears and Scouts. Then he also built Fish instead of walling in, which is gonna give him a big economy advantage. Um, I think, uh, this start might be, uh... This might snowball out of control for Bruh here. I'm obviously gonna try and counterattack. And, uh, oh, might, might do all right here, actually. Two, one bill, maybe two. Okay, he did chase the scout down. We'll get them, so he only lost one bill, okay. He's had four fishing ships go for a while. Now, the uh, part that I'm curious about, okay, slams up to Castle Age, and bruh, not yet. And this is what I was thinking would happen. You got, got six fishing ships and <laughs> get raided by scouts. Alright, so some spears coming in. I think he had a demo or two. Yeah, look at that. Slam had a demo. Okay, let's get those uh, spears out of here. And even if they don't fight, you just, just kill them with the scout. And uh, five, four, and one? No problem. Now, okay, here we go. Let's see it. Oh, okay. He just gets a single spear. Bit of a waste, but uh, still got the edge here. But now I think um, 
Well, what's he going in Castle Age? So three archery ranges. What are we seeing? Are cab archers? I was about to say we're gonna see something entirely different. I thought knights and a siege for sure. Um, but I guess you are against Khmer. Cab archers are really good, um, especially on Frigid Lake. Actually, when I was uh, playing this map before uh, on uh, Empire Wars, um, I was a huge fan of Tatars and using cab archers. And the reason for it is you can't wall in. You can't build farms close to TC. So anywhere, if you get the army advantage in any way, um, cab archers are amazing for raiding. And uh, when you have them and you're you're defending at home, you build a couple town centers, and uh, you can always run back to your TCs if you're defending at home. So, uh, and uh, you you need less farms too, which means you don't need all that uh, farming space. So. Now he's kind of able to also hit and run to demo ships if he wants in this case. Nice pal, nice house wall there. Just kept that night out. Trying to build just in time, yep, yeah, just in time. Now looks like Cabra as is adding some fire galleys here. Some scorpions as well. Um, probably a good idea. You do need to make something happen here. When you you realize Slam has had fishing ships forever, and uh, he's going cab archer, so his boom is probably pretty good. You know, you gotta, gotta do some damage here. I think from Slam's perspective, yes, a couple knights, very good idea. Um, just get those scorpions out of there. Maybe even a monastery to convert these knights and uh, grab the relics while you're at it. I like this idea, a few demos. Um, you don't have to run back to your TC anymore, you can run back to your demo, demo ships. Um, this goal's getting a little overcrowded, I would say. Probably want to split that on another gold over here, over here somewhere. Now, this, uh, let's see. Okay, takes out the scorpions and a knight. He has ballistics, I guess. Yeah, okay. Ooh, demo wrap coming in hot. Just misses. Oh! Explode! You can do it! Oh, Bruh sees it and splits and then hits it with the low HP one. Smart. Okay, I gets, gets two knights though. It still worked out alright. Now, this is the part where... Let's see. Okay, he doesn't let him in. He chooses not to let him in by putting a market there. Fair enough. He goes in anyway. Yeah, I think you run there. It's, it's looking like a close fight in all honesty, but... Oh! Nice, nice demo there. Now, if you can reinforce this with some more army, maybe you fight it, but... Looks like uh, Slam's taking some heavy losses along this journey home. But it looks like Briz taking some losses here, so... Maybe, uh, pretty equal there. <laughs> I think you're well in the wrong house, house spot there, but okay. Season. Garrison's okay. Let's see. He gets one. Damages the other one. Now this is the part where it's Slam... The only part that I have nervous, or slightly nervous for the way Slam is, is he's got three goals that are kind of forward. And this one's definitely taking some heavy fire and it's being tough to deal with. And I was about to say, it's funny, looking at these, I was going to say, start adding light cav like crazy. You have the cheapest, strong, you know, cheap, strong light cab with Magyars. Like, and you got a bunch of scorpions and monks and, and mangonels. Just all out. I'm going to say even more. I'd add three or four or five stables. Um, the cab archers are doing fine, but you know what? Like, I think you use them on defense. And uh, just go light cab like crazy. This game's actually a lot closer than I thought when uh, Slam had the huge advantage of all the, all the fish in the metal, so... Ooh, and this could be deadly too. Good job though, he used the light cap, took out a lot of the monks in the siege there. And I think that might be enough to... <laughs> Getting raided though, quite heavily. They are close to 100 bills each though. Um, if you take one bad fight, like he was looking to go for a cord castle there and that could have been a very dangerous thing to do. He's thinking about it. He's going to go for it. Okay. Interesting.
I think just if he slams you out of here. He's gonna sacrifice some bells, but he's gonna take out his army. Yeah. But now Bruh has 130 bells. So it's weird. The score is like crazy, and obviously uh, Slam has a ton more army. If Bruh were to hit him, which doesn't look like he's imping though, so. But uh, if you can kind of get take equal trades from that point on, you'd be okay. But but now Cav Archers, you got a huge problem though. These are extremely dangerous raiding on, on this this map. So I well, did take a lot of damage there. Took a few down. Looks like Slam is going up though. I think that might be the game changer when he hits the next stage and gets the upgrades. Uh, he's still <laughs> going crazy on these gold mines. All right. Now, we're gonna try and do some raids of his own. I like this, even though it doesn't look like he's gonna be unsuccessful and probably lose all of them there. But uh, it does make sense because you will find something, right? You know, oh, good quick pulse by Slam. <laughs> all right. Now, it looks like the other one, you know, it looks like uh, Briz also imperiling here. And Slam picks uh, going for the trap before conscription, just because it might be a castle war here, and it might be worth taking it out before it hits the next stage. Lots of raids from Bra here. Um, but uh, Slam's doing a good job dealing with them. Okay. Trap goes up. Oh, he's going to get taken down. Okay, he's doing some raiding of his own. See, this is a very dangerous raid. With all this farming economy, if you can't... Oh, he looks like he's able to deal with that. I was going to say, if you can't deal with it, it becomes a huge problem. Delete it. Delete the mining camp. He did win that fight, but definitely lost a few extras there. Ooh, don't leave one! Don't do it! That one's going to be the MVP after he kills 20 milliliters. Anyways... He is, we're still raiding quite well, but guy's still going to town. Now it is, it was a bit of a trap war here, but it looks like Bro's kind of holding off. Uh, some good raids. Oh, he caught it. He finally got it, okay. He's got a few bodies. Not, not, nothing too terrible. But... Alright. Now just judging from the way it's going, Bro has a ton of villagers, so... And there's no units that are really killing the light cab, so... But uh, it looks like uh, Slam's added some Mega Hussars, which are amazing for their cost. But uh, Khmer has an amazing Hussar of their own, right? I mean, with, with the cheap farming and full upgrades. Uh, it looks like Slam's in trouble here. Yeah, I was about to say, just the raids. When you when you drop below 100 villagers and, and you're about to lose your only castle and raid it on all sides, um, even if you have the army to deal with this, which he doesn't have much anymore, and the score is still really close, um, I think this game is still over. So I think Slam called it fairly, even though it looks like, you know, maybe it... Maybe you keep fighting a little bit longer. Uh, next game, we'll go to game three in the series. So it looks like Tatars for Bra against uh, Mayans for Slam. Okay, interesting Mayans. Ooh, with a nice hill like that, I can see why you want, want Tatars, and I can see why you want Mayans too. Um, if you're massing a ton of archers against Tatars, this is a great hill to do that on. And he's doing... <laughs> Some, some, he did some skirms because he thought archers, and then Bruh snuck in with his scouts. Okay. And uh, Slam kind of just walled in again. Same idea. Bruh kind of doing the same thing too, just slower. Um, but, but he knows he's got his opponent on the defense here. Now Slam might be able to push forward this with two spears. <coughs> with that many scouts though? With seven scouts? So yeah, I was going to say, I think you want a third spear. Which he has, that's good. And I think you want to hit the gold, in all honesty. This might be tough for Bra right here, you know? I'm actually a fan of what Slam's doing here. Bra was a little too greedy by going more scouts, and he didn't get bloodlines yet, so I would not take this fight. Um, looks like he will win the fight, but... Uh, yeah, that was a close fight. And now, you see, Bra is... Oh, looks like they're both going to go to Castle in a similar time. He's building a tower, okay. Slam is going, you know what, I'm not messing around. We're going full army this game, okay. And uh, I actually was wondering if Bro would tower that too, this gold, when he's seen that army coming, but I guess he figured he could make enough of his own. Now, decision time here. Ooh, you don't—you have to leave one scout there. You just have to. 
Um, you have to see if those archers are coming for you. This is gonna be painful. This might be a game ending painful. One bell, two bells, three bells. And no gold access. Four bells. And he's up to the next age, like. That's five. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're in trouble at this point. And won the far ar army fight there, just being up a little sooner. I think that's uh, GG, pretty much. I mean, he is. I'm surprised how close it is in bills. Did uh, Slam do some damage? Or did Brit do some damage over here? It's only four bills difference, and he killed a lot more than four there, so I'm a little surprised. His army will go down. Okay. And Slam did add a second TC. I did not expect that at all. I totally thought when he did this tower, uh, he'd be adding a seed shop and just go focusing on this gold. And I actually think uh, if he did that, with no TC here, with the way he got that early advantage, um, I think this game might have been over. But I still think it probably is. Eight fills ahead. And uh, he's got two TCs versus Briz, only one. Um, oh, he's sneaking by. Okay. Just going for bells too. Yeah. If you, did, if you weren't ahead by enough bells, now you got 16 ahead. Yeah, okay. As long as he doesn't... Okay. Right now, if you're Bruh, what you have to do is it's do or die time. You either kill a, a town center with the siege push, and uh, you kill this army with some, you know, knights and things like that, or it's game over. Just because you're that many bills behind. 19 bills behind. Um, the score looks close sometimes in these situations, but... Uh, when you got 50% more economy, even if you take poor trades, it's surprising how much faster you gather resources, right? So, um, and that's why, and that's why from Slam's perspective, he knows he's had economy. So you, your goal at this point is you don't need to make more villagers. I mean, obviously you keep going, but your goal is just to make enough army to not, not, uh, lose a TC and not lose a bunch of bells. So, yeah, I think this game's pretty much done here. So let's speed it up a bit. And a castle on the hill. Yeah. Like, even if you lost all of this, you're still in a good spot, I think. Yeah, and, and Brett calls it. I think that's fair. Just too too far behind in the economy at that point. Alright, so let's go to game number four here. Alright, so Briz playing Sicilians on... What map is this, anyway? Northern Isles, okay. Against Berbers from Slam. And they do start with a transport, and I think you should always make this a home. And yeah, Slam is doing that, and it uh, looks like uh, Briz too. Okay. Did he add an extra fish ship or two? He did add an extra fish ship. He got six instead of five. I think that makes sense. It's going to take a while for a fire to get there. You might as well uh, milk it for a little bit. So they both landed scouts. Um, I think on this map, based on that, I, I would... Uh, I think the meta for this map is going to turn into adding a fishing ship at the start, box walling your base, building a stable or an archery range, building, and then building a couple fire ships, and uh, a second dock, I do like that idea, maybe not a third, but, um, and then building enough military so that you don't lose water, but you keep your fish, fish alive, yeah, and then going up to Castle Age, and I think you're seeing a difference here. Is Bro did three docks and he's slower up to Castle Age. I think you need to up to Castle Age quicker. Um, you know, the, you get hit by ten fast fires or whatever, right? When right when they bring the upgrades in, and uh, could be a big deal. And Slam's landing. I, be, I bet he's going to go for uh, siege monk push sometimes, probably. And stable, yeah. Okay. And without. Uh, Without a box wall here, like, or without at least walling to the edge of the map, um, this is going to be dicey on land. I mean, the water's probably fine, but I don't think he's aware of it. Okay, now he's going to see that first night, but that first night, is, it's going to feel too late, I think. Okay, he's walling it in now. And this map, yeah, you gotta add a monster, you're going to need town centers. Like, ooh, this is looking like a messy wall. Are you gonna make it? You gonna make it? If it breaks in, if he breaks in, you're dead. So you gotta, he's gotta focus this like crazy. One misstep. Obviously he's going for water with his uh, fire galley army here. And you go double monastery, okay. Yeah, if you can get enough monks to deal with this, you're good. 
from them these are working inefficiently and then and he's losing resource uh, bills outside the walls and see even if you even if you take no more damage here which you did take another loss there but you need to take no more damage. Like, look at these bills. They're, they're not, they don't have a lumber camp. These ones are all messy. Um, it's going to be a, a tough game. I mean, even, even though you have the water, you have, uh, you know, six fish ships or whatever. It's going to be a tough game. I definitely agree with this, this type of attack on a map like this. <laughs> he walls him in. Even if you kill him, though, you're going to lose all your stuff. All your knights. Painful. Oh, he's got his own monks there. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, and Slam did lose. Oh, he, he kept his fishing alive by moving it to a random spot, and, and Briz looking for it like crazy. I like this. That's a smart idea. And uh, doing double TCs at home. It makes it so at least now you, you have a tough time taking damage at home. And uh, these Meganels just causing issues. And his face is just tough to defend. I've been in spots like this many times. It's 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 not so much as it's not doable, which which Bri is doing it. Um, it's it's difficult. It's it's you know you you, you make economy slips. You, you you know like your new bills. Where do they go? And how do they you know what are they getting? And where do you farm? And so many questions without good answers. Looks like they're even on villagers, which is surprising. Very good job from Brit to kind of hang in there. Um, this push is still kind of killing buildings and stuff. Now, does he have... Uh, do either of them have redemption? That's what I wonder. And uh, I don't know if Rivers does. I don't know if Sicilians do. But I think it would be a useful tech at this point in time with, with the way it's going. Megan Elza Monks and things like that. Looks like he is going for a defensive castle here. You gotta make sure these monks stay at least close enough to deal with this army. Good raids here. Both sides. Steal as many as you can, yeah. I have to say, Bro's doing extremely well in water. Raiding in all different spots and defending his own fish and um killed he killed Slam's fish at some point. Oh boy. Okay, so he's building his castle here. Oh, he gets it up, okay. Good stuff. But he doesn't have access to this side, and there's a lot of gold there, right? So, I mean, he's got a lot of gold still, I guess. There's a lot of gold in this map, so. I think there's more in the middle, yeah. Now, the weird thing is, is the score looks very deceptive. It's, it's quite different, but I, I, I can't help but feel like Slam is way ahead here. Oh, he's an imping, that's what I was, yeah. That's why he's going for a fourth town center. And then the question is, do you go for water or land? It looks like Slam has chose keep enough of a presence to hold land and just slowly push without trying to go all in or anything like that. But at the same time, he's going back on water. You can see all the docks here, all in the front. He wants this area, which makes sense. And also, if you get water, you kill bro. Um, he doesn't have enough space to expand outwards, so. Um, if you hit it first and you get those upgrades, which I think is what, what Slam's plan is, um, it's going to be a big deal. So, you can see Bra adding some war galleys, but, uh, and going imp himself, but I feel like it's going to be, you know, two or three minutes of, of hell for him. Oh, shit, look at this! Bra's going for a castle! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, uh, I like this actually, that's hilarious. I mean, obviously it's not gonna work so well because your, your opponent's an imp and they're probably gonna get uh, chemistry or some bombard cannons or whatever, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> for interesting, I, that is definitely an interesting idea. I guess if you can't expand outwards on your side of the map, go take your opponent's map. <laughs> Making some sergeants too, good stuff. Uh, water, he is struggling here. Might as well use him to raid. Okay. Slam trying to raid too. 
Lots going on here. A couple of raids. Traps being made. Water under under pressure here. Probably getting the upgrades. Okay, it's converting. Raids won't do all that damage then. Um, it looks like Slam's kind of gonna lock. Once he gets rid of this, I mean that's. He put his own castle up. He's trapping it down. Okay. And that's the hard thing about a push like this is you don't have enough villagers to really follow up too much, and you don't have the space to build any military buildings. So. I mean, it is an interesting idea. If you up to imp first and you did this and you managed to kill two town centers and really slow down your opponent, um, super, super powerful. And he didn't know that Slam was imping right then, so. Interesting idea for sure. Raid's going, trap's going. Preparing like crazy. Oh, he's just going pure sergeants. I was totally expecting traps to try and win the trap war, but. Slam kind of all over the place on the water here. So he is going to send them to try and kill the Trebs. They do have uh, a decent amount of Pierce armor, but... Oh, look at that. Look at Slam. Just, you know? No. You're not getting in there. You're not getting these Trebs. I like that move. That worked very well. And this push is just to stop, right? I mean, you got some villagers, but they can't really do much anymore. But it looks like he does have some water presence now. Try to take back this side. Um, oh, boy. I'm really curious to see how this will go. Okay, he takes it down, gets the castle, okay. Ten defending here. Doing alright, he got, got his resources back. I think. Sam's got two castles though, kind of covering his base, and I guess so does, so does Brit. He's still got presence on this this side of the map too. I also feel like it's a lot easier for Slam to get the middle now with Docks right here and that's right there and no forward presence from Brett here. So this castle is tough to tough to bypass. And Camel just acting like an annoyance, uh, Archer, on uh, those wood choppers there. Good good stuff. All right. So mostly, mostly just focused on water here, it looks like. That's the main... Slam kind of keeping a presence here. Ooh, that's a lot of... He's getting some cab garrison there. And Berbers are great for that, right? With uh, cheap cavalry. So you got the upgrades. Ooh, good fight from Slam here. He took out the cannon galleon. Taking out the demo ships. Got some bomber cannon support. Um, getting some free units. And at the same time... Um, got enough knights and hussars to, to really be... Ooh, and three, landed three traps. I mean, if you're Brr right now, you're, you're, you're having a tough time holding this water, and then this is now a huge problem. You need your economy, right? It's, it's kind of all going down. The ship is sinking all at once. Yeah, there you go, and Brr, and Brr calls it. So, crazy, crazy game. Interesting for sure. I actually thought it was going to be more of a blowout once Slam had that presence right here, in all honesty. But uh, Bra held on well and and focused on water and managed to get his economy regoing again. So, yeah, good series from these two for sure. Really good series. Um, all right. Hello, everyone. Bra versus Slam. Red Bull 4. First map. Looks like it's Greenland. All right, let's get going. All right, so here we got uh, Bru playing Chinese versus Slam playing Byzantines. And it uh, looks like you spawn with four bills in the middle getting shortfish. Interesting. That makes it a high-action game because uh, you're going to have to get that shortfish and get your bills safe right away. Doc from Slam. Okay. Guess he's defending with ships as opposed to army. Okay. Stable from Bru. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, slam to the spear just to defend. And uh, looks like Brew is adding the uh, dock too. I think he's spreading his villagers in case there's a demo ship. You don't want it to take out multiple villagers. Definitely gonna be a big deal. Okay, sliding around the back. As you can see, slam doing the box wall. Oh, it's left it open here. Sneaks in. Obviously, there's a spear there though. Saves a villager with a little wall in. Okay. Nice, nice work there. And Bruce just trying to be annoying here. Just trying to distract. 
Not really, um... Oh, I might get something here, but... Gets one villager. Loses a scout. Lost some HP, though, so it's not a bad trade, but at the same time, um, that distraction's over. But, uh, Slam's really invested in spears. That's four spears. Oh, here's a demo coming in hot. Two spears go down. And the nice thing about scouts is you can, you can, uh, attack the ships there. <laughs> Slam's repairing it with his bills. And tower going up. Okay, interesting. There is a lot of shorefish. Jeez. Tower might make sense, actually. I was thinking maybe not, but that's... It's like 10 tiles on each each person, so. But at the same time, Briz already up. They're very close to upping. And it looks like he's adding a second stable. And uh, Slam is not up yet, so. Two docks for Slam here. Trying to keep his opponent off water. Two for Bra as well. Just making a few fire ships, demo rafts. And. Uh, Slam is still not clicked up, so he's done... His distractions have really put uh, Slam on the back foot. Now it looks like... I mean, Slam is going to go in there and kill these, I guess. They have nowhere to go. Straight to their demise. Okay. But Bra is in the next stage, so is he going to get the... Lord Galley upgrade here? Put fishing ships first, okay. And knights. Trying to get the villagers. Ooh, demo. Doesn't kill anything, but it knocks four of them on low hit points. And the spears clean it up. Wow, that looked really bad for Bra, but at the same time, he is in Castle Age. And it looks like he is adding the second TC there. Um, and some fires and some demo ships. And from Slam's side, he's adding a market. I don't see a second TC there, but a couple camels in a monastery. Okay. We're still fishing. <laughs> and building some houses over here. Okay. I was curious how fast a ship would fight a camel there. Looks like uh, ships do actually pretty good. <laughs> Demo almost got him. <laughs> That's the third town center going up. Slam's got his second one, it looks like. So, I mean, there's obviously... Uh, Bro's doing really good here, kind of defending with just a couple docks when Slam has three. I guess he has three too, but he's fishing off to the side here without being noticed. And he's greedy, greedy enough to go with a, a seventh fishing ship and even a, another dock. Now, Slam is scouting here. If he sees that, those fishing ships will die pretty quickly. Um, looks like Slam is farming here. Got three, three TCs up. So this, this fish is getting away with it. Now, some scout fire ship, just seeing what's going on there. Oh, the demo get converted? Almost. But no. Some knights raiding the camels, defending. Alright. Oh, is he going to spot it here? Yeah, looks like it. So these, if uh, Slam's paying attention, these will die very quickly. Okay, looks like he's just uh, hold for the bell first. Now, do either of them notice? Because if Slab noticed, he'd put it out here and kill these. If Bird noticed, he'd probably kill the fire ship, and he is. So, looks like this, this might be very timely because that could have killed a lot of those in the meantime. Some monasteries raiding over here. <laughs> He's kind of got a huge amount of defense. Making sure those fire ships stay alive. And serving war galleys, okay. Got some camels, some monks, some war galleys. Looks like the water is quite important on this map, just with how widespread it is on both sides. And those fishing ships make it important for Bruta to, to hang on as long as possible. Keep the water. I think from Slab's perspective, he doesn't realize how many fish are out there. He probably thinks it's a couple, but not nothing like it is. And, uh, looks like, uh... Slow down a touch here while it's fighting. So it looks like Slam is imping here. Two thirds of the way to imp. With, with, with Byzantines, it's a cheap Imperial Age, and that can, make, that can definitely make a big difference too. Now his tower is kind of keeping him safe for the moment, but at the same time, 
I don't think you want to fight under the tower and two two monks and all this army here. But the second you see Imperial, you might want to fight right away, so. Right, let's speed up just a touch. So we've got a back and forth here on the water. Okay, so Slam just hit him. So now Bru has a decision to make. Do you stay back or do you go and fight? And I think he you know, I think he's making the right call here is you try and do as much damage as you can before the upgrades come in. So once he gets a uh, fast fire ship and those type of things, Slam's trying to find a good spot to put a castle there. Oh, devil coming in! <laughs> now fast fires. Um, oh, taking the mills down. Now the fast fires will eat the eat the galleys pretty easy. Especially with no demos around, it makes a huge difference. As you can see, look at that. That's like 12 ships shooting it and one fire and it just still took forever to drop. Okay, seed shop coming in here. The demos do really good though. That's the thing, right? As you can see, it just cleared up a lot of them with those demo ships. Okay. Still lots of fires on both sides. Galleons are out now. That'll make a big difference and kind of help these these fights. Still nothing else going on. Mostly just a castle and some towers. Okay, Slam's adding towers here. Interesting. I mean, it uh, they, once they get the upgrades, they do a lot of damage against ships, so that does make sense. Now let's see the military. 120 bills a piece and similar military and these towers. I mean, it's, this is a very close game. And they both kind of each have parts of their map. There's gold in the middle here, so it makes sense to try and keep that. And uh, what's what's Burr doing? It looks like mostly water at the moment. Looks like, yeah, they're both focused on water. So, some bombard cannons coming out. Okay, he's got a yeah, nice army composition here, I think. Towers and, and fast fires, which are stronger with these teams, as well as bombard cannons. Should be very annoying for Bro to deal with. Bro doing some nice raiding here with a single knight, just taking out villagers. It's a lot of towers in one section. I think you might add a few more here. It's kind of made it so that these ships can't get into the action. But those demos really, ooh, see that? <laughs> really doing some damage. Bro's use of demos, demo ships, is amazing. And cannon galleons out. You don't see those very often either. And uh, looks like this bomber can is going to get eaten, yeah. Bomber cans are good, it's just tough to deal with um, when the map is this open because uh, 12 range versus 10 range, galleons can quite quickly take take short work at bomber cannons. And bomber cannons don't do a lot of, um, they don't take a lot of hits from galleons before they die. Uh, looks like Slam is raiding with a few pikemen, but at the same time, um, Bra is defending with some ranged units at a castle. He raids on the other side with the occasional unupgraded light cav. We've got some demos in the back here prepared for any fire ships coming out. While Slam's adding some more docks. And uh, Bro's adding his own guard towers, okay. You know, I'm not used to the meta of guard towers and keeps, but uh, it looks like it. they're pretty tough, eh? Especially against ships. And it looks like Bro's slowly pushing this area back. And uh, Slam is getting getting the relics here. And if we look, Slam has two relics here, and uh, Bro has only one. So it looks like um, Slam's going to be ahead at least in the relic side of things. But this is a tough army to deal with, right? I think this is where he's going to need those demos. Where did those demos go? Oh, here they are. Oh, let's see this. This narrow passage, if they even one or two hits, is worth... You see that? Like, just like massive amounts of damage there. I mean, he probably lost a little more than he got there, but still. I think this castle is... Uh, maybe it's staying up. With the repairs, it's close. And seven, you know, 6,700 6, hit points, that's a lot. Now, the question is, who's going to win the water fight here? Because they're kind of both committed to this fight. And, uh... Yeah, you know, if, you, if Brewer loses the fight, his cannon gallons are extremely expensive, but if... If Slam loses the fight, then he's going to be pushed back here, so... Oh, three demos coming in? Oh, boy. Lots of damage there. About 12, about 14. Okay, it's, it's close-ish. Castle does go down, so at least if the Kangalians go down, at least they did their job first. 
He rams here for Bra. I definitely like that addition. They they are very tanky against ship fire and any fire they draw is essentially wasted shots, so. Very very good idea from Bra here. And he is raiding with Lightcap here too, but Slam is defending with Pikeman. And uh, looking like Looking like Slab's getting pushed back here. Slowly. And uh, Bra is watching his army there. Good job. Now, Relics do make a bit of a difference here, and Slam's on two. Oh, he pulled one out of here. I guess he's trying to retreat to the back in case he loses this one. Makes sense. And he's about to grab a third. Okay. So Slam is definitely ahead in the Relic side of things, but he's popped 150, and Bra right now is popped 200. Okay, so... And uh, those demos are still trying to sneak in there. They're not making it in. They're taking a lot of fire, but he does have the rams kind of making it annoying here. And uh, even if they don't get shot at, they still uh, draw Slam's attention to try and not focus fire them. So try and focus fire ships instead of them. And uh, we're adding a few more towers here and even some Arbalest. Okay. He's seen the pikemen, so he's now going cav and archers. Um, I think that's a really smart switch, even with a small number. Just because uh, it really forces Slam to react. You gotta add you gotta add another unit as opposed to just piking at that point. Now this fight looks like it's going well for Slam here, actually. But uh, let's see. Those fire ships, yeah, this is going well over here for Slam. But I think this this side's eh, not bad. Okay, well, let's speed it up a touch here. Okay, demo comes in does a lot of damage. Now here's there's a lot of fire ships, so one or two demos is a, yeah, as you can see, Bra, Bra is on point with those demo ships. Uh, whenever there's too many fast fire ships, he just explodes one and kills half of them, so uh, very well done by Bra here. I think he Slam just doing what with these things? Good defense. Now you gotta always run away your candy galleons, because this is that's a very expensive loss there. Um, and a good good thing, good play by Slam, I would say. Focus firing those down. And here's where you see it, though. Is Slam hasn't switched to a second unit to kill the Arbalest. So, this is going to be annoying to deal with. And if he starts adding some rams, which he, is his goal here, um, all of a sudden, it's not just a water game anymore. It's also a land game. So Now, it looks like Bra is still losing on water here. Um, slowly being pushed back. I mean, looks like Bra is adding a few more cannon gallons here. And... Is getting the gold in the middle. He does have still have a keep there. And I think that he kinda got two things happening here. It's, ooh, that's expensive if you lose some candy galleons. Okay, so the towers are going up though. They make it up, that's the question. Okay, now we kinda got a few different spots going at once here. You got raids on the right. Um, you got raids at the bottom. <laughs> Land push up here. And then water going on down here, as well as the trying to build towers and defend this area. Um, I love these type of games. They get to crazy action like this. This is how you know how good the players are. They're, they're both amazing players. Because this is a lot of action. And uh, what your goal here is, is to try and do as many good things as you can. Like the big things. You know, if you're getting raided too much, drop a few pikemen there, build a castle. Um, try and secure the golds. At the same time, just build, you know, like he did here. Just drop a bunch of towers. You know, you might or might not get built. Uh, the other thing you do is... Uh, as you can see, he's still building villagers, you know. I don't think people realize that, but uh, pro players, when you get in a messy situation, you don't stop building villagers. Because you're losing them left, right, and center. You kind of look at the number at the top and go, hey, is it is it enough? And if it's not enough, just build more. And you also got to realize you have idols, right? When you're fighting like this and it's going crazy. So um, even if you just grab all your TCs, put them on a gather point in a wood pile, and, and hit shift C and build 20 villagers. Like, that's uh, completely normal. And I encourage anyone watching this to, to take advantage of that when you're in a messy fight in a, in a, in a game. Now you can see, you see Bra is trying to deny the gold here, and he's trying to get the gold here. And the, and the hard thing is, is, is Slam's still building out of these docks, right? But they're, they're dying, right? Like, so this is another good, useful thing to do. Um, when your opponent has gather buildings, you don't always want to kill them. Sometimes it's good just to um, make sure you, you distract them, right? You, you have something that shoots them when they get out. Now, I actually think that this game is not going to be decided by water. It looks like uh, Slam's actually kind of taken the water here. But this is the critical point. If Slam can defend, I, I, don't, I don't know if he can. I, if this is a lot, right? I mean, once you get a few rams of this push, which Bra is now getting, um, it becomes a very, very difficult to stop push. And if, if 
Slam had the health upgrade, I'd say at least he has a better chance of taking care of some of these light cap, but with just regular, regular pikemen, um, there's going to be a lot of villagers lost here. So Slam definitely needs to be building as many villagers as he can, which he is doing too. He's also building his bills and um, trying to do whatever he can just to, just to stay alive. But you also got to find a way to deal with those archers. You might need some skirmishers or something, or... I mean, he's not building anything related to that, so his own light cab and pikes, but I do think you already have the upgrades for your uh, galleons, which are the same upgrades for skirmishers. So you need to add 10 or 15 skirmishers and focus fire those archers down. And you need... The other thing... I see he has the resources for it. You need the halb upgrade right now. Um, obviously, there's a ton of things happening, so it's it's very difficult. It's easier to be a, a watcher and, and say those things as opposed to the one playing, but... Uh, um, the other thing I would say is sometimes if you look at the, the buy sell, I mean, here it's still... You can buy wood. Yeah, they're not amazing, but sometimes if they're down to, you know, 17 wood and 25 to buy, sometimes it does make sense, especially if you're Byzantines, just to buy 500 or 1,000 food and wood and uh, get get 20 halves, get 20 skirms, and at least defend this, because he is winning the water. He does have the relic advantage, and if you can hold, you can win. But it looks like the holding part is going to be the, the crux of the matter, where I don't know if it's possible to hold with this many rams and uh, just light calves and pikes. Um against uh, Arbalest and, and, uh, and our troops here. Now, here, this is the other part that's really, really causing problems for Slam, is he's doing good killing the water and the, and the traps here, but those keeps do a ton of damage, right? Like, every shot, right? It's, it's you know, just, uh, maybe not as much as the past fire, but more to the galleons, but, uh, but I think this is where it's going to be do or die. He did get the Hussar upgrade, and I actually disagree with that. I actually think he should have got the Halb upgrade first, but... I mean, Byzantines, they don't have bloodlines, but maybe it is working out here. It looks like he is using the Hussars to kill the, the archers here. Well, that might make sense. The thing is, there's just so many archers. 17. Hard to kill that many. As you can see, once they, they kind of clean that up, there's still 16 left, so... And there's enough light cab now to kind of tank the army, so... It's about to get really tough, I think. And I think for Slam, yeah, his population's dropping, and that's the... That's the hard part, right? Because if Slam could deny gold, um, maybe he has a much better chance once it's a trash-only game. I mean, trying to use still has really good trash units for, for a game like this, but but at least it would be easier. So he might clear this army up, but... Let's see over here. He's still got some gold going, and he's, he's getting raided all over the place, right? Like, look at Bruh, just... He's having trouble over here. He's having trouble over here. And uh, this is the part where if you had two or three castles scattered through your economy, you could probably survive. But it's just too much, and there's not enough. Uh, I think they both used a lot of their stone um, for the metal earlier on, so not much you can do about that. Now, I think the question is going to be, um, how long can Slam hold here? And uh, his population is dropping below 120, and I think that's the critical point. Um, once you hit that population limit, if your opponent doesn't take any, doesn't do any stupid actions. It's not really up to you whether you can win the game. It's kind of up to your opponent whether they, they kind of royally uh, let you come back, screw up, and let you come back. So um, it looks like it's in a death spiral here, just kind of a... Well, let's see. Some rams coming in. Yeah, so town center dropping here. And the crazy thing is, even though it's Hussars against Light Cav, those Light Cav um, are kicking the crap out of these Hussars just because they have... They don't have the attack upgrades, and they have less hit points than the, the light cap because they have bloodlines. So, and it looks like we watched the first game last. So I apologize for that. Um, I'm surprised by that though, because I thought. Oh, I see. They didn't put the games in order. They put them out of order. Man. All right. Well, I guess we're watching them out of order. So. All right. So I guess we're on to game one. 